Hello Creative Mind, welcome home. I'm Survivor. In the previous classes, I taught you how to create a male figure, how to create a female figure, how to use the background changer tool to change the background of any image and how to make amazing designs using the background changer tool. I also taught you how to make business cards um, today I will be showing you how you can make flyers uh, using the flyer maker app. So um, flyers are used to advertise your business online, offline, online by making something like a design that tells people, uh, potential customers about your business and creating awareness that is making design that tells people about um, your, what you do and then putting it online for people to get to know okay this is what you do um, flyers can also be printed you can print it and then distribute to people people get to know what you do and that's it it's a way of promoting and advertising your know, business and services and what you do so now let's head into the app so now this is the flyer maker app so it's opening this is what it looks like now what this flyer maker app does it is, is this it contains a lot of templates i mean when i mean templates i mean already made designs that you can easily edit and then uh, make it um, and, and then pers personalize it that is what it does now taking a look at this um, uh, flyer maker app here you will see offer sales, business flyers, food and restaurant, fashion, real estate, education, uh, beauty and salon, and many of them. So your business hopefully must fall into one of these categories. So that's it. You can keep scrolling, checking out the templates that are there. Okay, we are having computer and IT services here, and I believe my business is into computer related stuff and internet technology stuff and what have you, IT services. So, so I think I'll go with this, I'll click it. To use this app, you actually need to enable your network, uh, your internet uh, connection, I mean, because most of this. Um, designs the app will have to connect online to show you some of these templates. I don't think they are right there in the software, in the application rather. I don't think they are just there. You will need internet services in order to um, get these templates. So if you take a look, you see a lot of templates here. Some of them are having something like PRO Pro in. That is beneath it. Example, you can see this is having pro beneath it. That means for you to use or access that template, you will need to upgrade to the pro version of this app or you need to buy the template. That's what it means. But there are a lot of free ones, and only after the free ones, if you have some money, you can go for the paid ones. I think I love this design, it's very simple and I love simple things. So I'll click on the design, okay, I'll, so I'll click on it and then edit it, I'll click to edit. So I'm now having the templates here in the app, you might need to download it to use it. So there are a lot of things you can do with this app. You can actually create flyers from the scratch, um, but I don't think this class will go into details or this class will go into that. I will just show you one or two things you need to know about editing the templates and coming up with your own personalized design. So now I will start with the website. Okay. Um, the website is having website.com. I will edit it. I will click on the edit. When this is the edit, I'm talking about this edit. I will click on this edit. Okay. I'll click on it. 
and then we we'll type the link to my website which is survivors creativity survivors creativity dot com www.survivalscreativity.com so that is it okay so now you will notice the icon of the website is already um, inside the website which is not looking good so I'll shift it and shift it and shift it to the edge okay Okay, I think it's okay this way. Then I'll move the icon. Now the icon is small and trying to move it. I might end up increasing the size or possibly even closing the icon. So I'll use this button to move it. I'll use this button. This. I'll use this button use this the arrow buttons to move it up and down right so i'll use it to move it move it move it okay to move it and then position it where it will look good okay i need to get this closer i'll use the button also so that's it i think it's looking good the way it is I think I'm having a nice design up there. So the next thing I want to work on will be this text. So I'll click on edit and then I'll put it mark of professionality. Will that be okay? Mark of professionality. Of professionality. I'll take this the professionality to the second line. Okay. So I'll click on this um, icon in order to save it. So that's it. I'll click on it. So there we are, mark of professionality. So now on our services, I'll try to edit it. Okay. We are into um, video production and photography. So I'll click video production video production video production and photography photography okay i think that's cool so i'll change we are also into web design and development so i'll change it to web design and development web design and development and development so we are also into training we are also into training online and offline training we are into online and and offline training offline training okay so that's it so now taking a look at the icon there um, i think some of the icons are not seen. like this one is having the icon or shape of um, a human so i'll be changing it i'll be using the replace button here the replace button at the edge left uh, right left side of the screen Okay, this is the replace. So I will search for. Let me search for camera. I hope I will get a free one. So I'm searching for camera. Oh, most of them are paid. Okay, okay, okay. I think I love this icon here. So I'll be using this camera. So I'll be using that. So oh, the icon is too small web design and development i think i love the icon online and offline training um, let me check if there is a better something better um, icon i can use to 
place it. Let me search for computer. Computer. I hope I'll get a good one. Uh, no good computer. Most of them are for the pro version. I think I would rather go with the one I'm having. Okay. So that's it. Okay, I think I'll need to add my logo. So I'll add my logo. So now there are things I want to point out before I continue with um, the design. First, I want to take you through some of this. Um, will I call it layers or I don't know what to call it now, but the first one is add text i believe it's self-explanatory you can use it to add something let's say number 0810 that's my number um, 34987472 that's my number i can just decide to use it to add a phone number you can see it here okay so but it's really not necessary or is it so I can just leave it there that is what it is used for so now add image you can use it to add image so there are some things I will need to show you now with text or um, other text or images or icons or anything they are very important thing you should note now now take this one this is the first one you will use this to increase or decrease um, the size of your image, icon, or anything. That is what it does. This one, you will use it to um, rotate the text, image, or icon. Then this one here that is having something like X, you will use it to cancel or close it. I think those are the basic things you need to know about it. Then if you want to move the icon text or anything, you hold and drag it from here to move it. That is how it goes. So I hold and drag it, I move it down. Okay, I think I love it where it is. So the next thing I will need to show you is, anyway, when you are having it, um, you can choose to edit. This is rotate, you can choose to rotate to increase the size, to change the font, to change the font color, to add shadow to it, to use font style, auto paragraph, that is when you have more than two lines of text, or opacity is the visibility, how visible do you want it, to be so visible or to be a bit faint, so letter space, line space, Stroke will add another additional color just um, as, as, as surrounding the as the surrounding of the text image or whatsoever. Then background. I think all these things are self-explanatory. You can try them yourself. So now coming to image, um, there are things I want you to. to I want to highlight which I want you to take note of. Now, in adding image and background are two different things. Image, you are adding it to the design. Background, you are changing the background of the design. They are just two different things. So I'll be adding an image, which is my logo. So I'll choose image. I'll go to gallery. Okay, I'll go to gallery. So I'll look for where my logo is. My logo, logo, logo. Where are you? Okay, I'm looking. Okay, this is where my logo is. So I'll simply pick a logo here. Okay. So that's my logo. I'll click on this um, icon to put it in. This is the icon. Click on it. So if I want to crop my logo, I can use the edges here, but I think I love my logo the way it is. So I'll just click on this to add it. So I'll move my logo up, 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 up. 
up here okay so that's it i think i love it the way it is i'll move this text a bit down a bit down so that's it that's it that's it okay so i think that is basically i think i'm done with this design i don't need to I actually I love my design simple like I don't like making too much complicated designs with too much colors and too much things happening on the design. I love it simple as simple as this. So I think I'm comfortable and okay with this design. So next thing I'll show you the background. The background changes the background of the design. And I'm only the aim of this class is just to show you how you can edit the template. Choose the one you like and you simply edit graphics. You use it to add stuff to your design. And you make the icons, stuff like this. You use it to add it up to your designs. And let's take for example, let's say this. Okay. You can actually choose one of these. Let's say this now. You add it up to your design. You might write a text and place it on top, but I don't need all that. Okay, that is what icon does. I mean, that is what graphic does. You can also insert shapes. Uh, these are the shapes. Anywhere you are having a picture, you might decide to put in something like this. Oh, most of them are pro version. Uh, I don't think we have any free one here. You can insert shapes. This one hopefully might be free. Oh no, they are not. Okay. So another thing you want to do is just text ads. These text ads are already designed text. Uh, you can easily add could be something like happy birthday. We are hiring now. Latest news coming soon new arrivals wow i love this new arrival design uh, none of them are free they are all for the paid version so that's it you can simply add it up to your design to spice up your design and make it look more beautiful and more attractive so that is it so i think i love this design the way it is very simple very simple design i love mine simple so now what i'll need to show you is this all the stuff you are seeing in these designs are layers all the stuff you are seeing here makes up individual layers individual layers and this is the layer icon where you can choose to block the position of a particular something sorry then you can choose to lock the position of a particular icon or stuff like that. So that is where you get to see all the layers that makes up this design. So I'm clicking on the layer panel. I believe you can see it. It starts with my logo. Now this icon here is the visibility of the logo. You can turn the visibility on or off. You can turn it on or off now now click i'll turn it off you will notice that my logo will no longer be visible so that's it it's off okay you see i'm no longer having my logo here because i turned the visibility off let me go back and turn it on again you see it my logo is back there on so that is the visibility of each layers okay um, so now you can as well delete a layer when you click on this delete icon it will delete a layer i will not want to use it i will try it out i don't want to delete any layer then the next one is to lock the position of a layer so let me lock the position of my of my logo so with this now I will not be able to move my logo. Let me lock it. It's locked. So now when I'm holding on to my logo. I believe you can see the little small icon showing. But I'm holding on to it. I'm holding on to it, but I cannot move it. 
I cannot move it. Watch mark of professionality, I'm moving it. But my logo, I cannot because I locked uh, the position, so I will not be able to move it unless I unlock it. So that is it, unless I unlock it. So now to close this uh, layer panel, this is what I usually uh, click this X button. Once I click it, it will close the layer panel so you can see it. So it's very important. Now if you want to duplicate any layer, you click on this, it will double up the layer. Maybe I want my logo to be two, one up and one down. I'll use it to duplicate my logo and then send the other one down. So, thing that's it, this is the eraser arrow up that will take stuff up or down. So, they are self explanatory, and that is how you come up with your own amazing flyers using the Flyer Maker app. It's very simple, just browse through where your business or services fall into and then go down select the one that best describes what you want so you just uh, personalize it by maybe adding your own logo your company name your details your services and that's all you have your logo so let's go ahead and save our design so I'll use this save button to save it. Uh, before I forget, you can also undo or redo your work. Maybe you made a mistake, you can click the undo to undo it. Redo to go back to what you... To redo what you undo. I hope that won't confuse you. Try it out and see how it works. So I'll save my work. So I'll save it as... Um, I love PNG, but I will save it as JPEG, JPEG, and then click on save. The design is already saved in my gallery. So that is how you make your flyers using the Flyer Maker app. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, in the next class, I will be showing you how to edit photos and how to make photo slides how to edit your videos, how to make animations, 3D animations, um, whiteboard um, animations, and logo intro, and the likes. And when we go advanced, I'll also show you how to make smudge painting, how to build amazing business websites using your phone, how to build mobile apps using your phone, and I'll also be showing you lots of stuff you can do with your phone. See you next class. Thank you and God bless you.